Episode, Episode two. two. Credits. Credits are rolling. Now, because I was still a little bit woke, prickly defensive, I noticed in episode one, they roll the credits in the beginning, and it's with Tim Robbins and Rebecca Ferguson, which is fair because she had like 20 seconds of episode one. Episode two, bam, top billing. She was first on the list, which makes sense. Given her position in the plots, he should be first, yeah. Obviously, yes. But at that point, I was like, oh, God, here it comes. Here it comes. The, the. But, uh, no. I'm just saying, look what our modern world has done to me, where I'm, like, suspicious and questioning and all, like, sensitive and shit. And, you know, Rebecca Ferguson should get a goddamn top billing. She's a big, famous actress. Excluding Tim Robbins is the biggest goddamn actor. She was uh, practically the main character in Doctor Sleep. She's the main bad guy. Nobody saw Dr. Yeah, I will never watch that. Your brother is also punch drunk from being beaten by the uh, wokeness because he totally missed the scene when she said she was hooked up with the guy because he was making jokes about her being lesbian. And I'm like, she just said she's straight, Rob. (laughs) Damn it, Alice. You were right. Allison was right. They have to see. Something made Holston just, over the course of like two years, and I like how two years ago, episode one, he's got like kind of a tight little Van Dyke situation, and then they're like two years later, and he's got like a full beard. Not, you know, that'd probably take a dude like a week to pull off. It's not like impressive physically, but I'm just right. saying the fact that they actually said, like costume department was like, let's make you look like you've been staying up late at night and drinking a little too much, and that was cool. I like that. Also, the whole house interior with all the hand-painted pictures and stuff, all that stuff was gone now that the wife was gone. He didn't want any reminders. Yeah, but and then we also know that the hard drive is hidden behind that grate on the wall, the round one, because he checked it before he left. So you're saying he had a great hiding place? The biggest things in Ep 2 is like, Flashback to the investigation. Ferguson's like, let's go. Let's go down. And he's thinking like, yeah, baby. But no, she actually means like go <laughs> go physically <laughs> go physically down into the, the bowels. They go down the ladder and then they go into the tunnel and there's all this graffiti. There's random graffitos. And it, in Toto, it makes a graffiti <laughs> where it's like pre-rebellion graffiti. And they find the big spider mech droid digger. Which was awesome. I loved the visuals of that. It does. It does look really great. Great job with the sets showing how big that underground space was. Really was. It really was. It looked amazing down there. And, you know, logically, yeah, there would be something like that down there. Interesting thing is during episode two, when they show Holson investigating the murder of the IT guy, he goes down and meets like kind of like the long hair, sloppy looking sheriff. Oh, yeah. He was uh, he was discount Adam Driver. (laughs) <laughs> he kind of was he, he, uh, wait I'm going to make a play I'm going to make a play on Kylo Ren and it's going to be awesome I just can't think of it right now he was Silo Ren oh he was Silo Ren <laughs> yeah oh that was so obvious god damn it boom Silo Ren, Silo Ren. <laughs> so Holston who's the sheriff he goes down and he meets an, and I don't think that guy was even his deputy. I think he was probably the sheriff of his neighborhood. They probably He's just the lower, yeah, the lower. They put him off as kind of like a sloppy lazy Silo Ren douchebag. <laughs> that was again interesting that just like you're a cop on the beat and you got your neighborhood, there's also this precinct and this precinct. So that was kind of cool. Holston leaves a note about his replacement. The the mayor and Will Patton are like, what are we going to do? We need to find a replacement. I don't know why I'm still doing Holston voice. What are we, what, what are we going to do? We're going we, to... Uh, don't do voices. Just don't do voices, man. Sorry, you, you I don't can't. know. We need a replacement. We've been... And one of the big twists at the very end was he recommends the grease monkey Benny Jesuit woman as his replacement. I have a theory on that. I think he is a big fan of Suzanne Summers. She's the sheriff. <laughs> there you go. You got it. Uh, oh, I was wondering what you're, what joke you're trying to make. Uh, oh God, I, I can't I believe that was now. a thing. That was a show that happened. It existed. Final scene, final sequence. 
she's going diving. She's going to dive into the hole. And we know yeah. that her F buddy boyfriend found a blueprint with like a tunnel leading out. So what's she going to find in the water? And she has that really long rope. And my only thought is she's wearing his watch. It's a relic. It's an old school watch. That doesn't look like a waterproof watch. Oh, no, no. I had that thought, too. I'm like, you're going to ruin that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, when she's climbing down there, she drops her uh, flashlight. And uh, it's too bad there's no way to easily get back up there and get another flashlight. Yeah. Too bad she didn't, like, plan ahead. Like, this is the person you want for sheriff? Nobody can swim. That's a thing. Oh, that would be a thing. Why would anybody know how to swim? Yeah, probably being immersed in any kind of water has never happened to anybody for a century. We didn't see any kind of bathtubs. There wouldn't be enough room for that. This is silo future. Silo Ren, baby. <laughs> so they showed the big giant spider driller. My question is, do y'all ever think that there's going to be like an aliens scene? Get away from her, you bitch. And, <laughs> <laughs> and the drill comes bursting out. Yeah, <laughs> and she fights a big giant xenomorph and it's awesome. There was a lot of it that involved the whole thing with the guy plunging to his death. They really missed an opportunity for a really good dummy scene. <laughs> that would have been good. That would have looked yeah, awesome. Yeah, he would have been falling down from. He could have like bounced his head off the staircase and yeah. started tumbling. And okay, once upon a time, someone somewhere was planning. We, we, we can't do spaceship arcs like in all these uh, Michael Bay and Roland Emmerich movies. So we're going to make a silo to save humanity from global warming. Because obviously global warming is at fault. It's, it's global warming. We didn't listen. We didn't listen. We, we didn't listen. <laughs> Let's say like you're planning this silo and you have societal controls. There's no planned relief valve like if i was planning something like this for tens of thousands of people i would have a whorehouse or a gambling place a saloon i mean there's probably bars i thought you were talking about a uh, physical relief valve so that hundreds of years of farts wouldn't build up but rob had that same problem <laughs> with the show that we don't see enough of that going on What's the actual life like there? They have eight more episodes to clue us in. But if you're trying to set up a situation where society is somewhat controlled, you need to have sports and liquor and pussy, right? The whore floor. There should be a whore floor. I'd go to the whore floor. 